Aries placements. How do you do? Let's see what we have for you, Aries. Aries. Two of Cups. You feel a strong connection with someone, but it scares you. It scares you. This person is such an upgrade. <laughs> this person is such an upgrade to what you were used to or to the type of people that you dated before. You could think that this person is out of your league. The connection between the two of you is strong and maybe you feel like it's strong I don't I don't see them just yet okay but I can see how you feel about them you are low-key intimidated by this person which is it's just funny because Aries intimidated by the by a person interesting right you could work with this person. Maybe this is why it makes things awkward. Maybe this is your boss that you're not supposed to like. You could have had an argument with this person that you worry that it's going to be in the way of the connection. No problem ever cannot be solved. So what I'm trying to say is every problem has a solution. There's a part of you that is afraid of solving this problem or solving, I say problem, it doesn't have to be that dramatic. It could be a, a simple misunderstanding or a simple disagreement that you can overcome and agree on things again and, you know, make peace with it. But there is a part of you that is afraid of what will happen after you resolve the problem. In a way, you are afraid of what's to come. And maybe you are telling yourself, oh yeah, it's impossible to excuse yourself from overthinking about what can happen after that. Well, well, well. But you know what? They're not going anywhere and you're not going anywhere. So do you prefer to keep this situation stagnant or to face it and see where it goes? Because there is fear, there is wall up, defense up. You're trying not to find out and possibly doing this subconsciously. Because then it will excuse you from having to think about what's going to happen next. If you already know that there is a misunderstanding or a problem between the two of you, then you already know, well, that is in the way, so I'm comfortable with that. But if you remove the obstacle and there is nothing between the two of you that is in the way, you're like, ooh, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Do I, do I approach them? Do I not? Do I... Uh? So the obstacle is kind of comforting for you. It gives you a, some kind of peace of mind. You know what they say, Aries, when you are afraid to jump, that is exactly when you jump. The fool, be in the fool's energy, meaning have faith 
that the things that are meant for you are not going anywhere. No matter how intimidating, no matter how much we attach fear to it, it's not going anywhere. Embrace the full card energy, meaning jump. <laughs> that sounded uh, kind of like weird. Jump! I hope it's not off a bridge. What the fuck? But it's a metaphor, obviously. Just in case some idiot out there. When you are afraid to jump is exactly when you should jump, Aries. And if this situation and this person intimidates you and makes you feel oof, all weird and worried, it's exactly why you need to face it. And I don't think it's going to be as bad as you think. In fact, let's look into it. What will happen if Aries overcomes the fear of approaching this person and telling them what they truly want in their heart? What will happen? That's you, that's you, by the way, that's you. I can recognize you because you are coming into this energy of I'm having my defense up. I don't want to embarrass myself. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to, I don't want to do something that I'm going to regret later. But the chariot is here. Movement. The stagnation that you're creating in your mind is crippling you from approaching this person or telling them how you feel. Change or leave. Change or leave. Change or leave. Because the stagnation that you have created is not going to work for you, nor will it work for the connection. So, Either change that or leave it altogether. If you leave it, of course, it will be your loss, in my opinion, because you have a connection that is different than your usual type. But if you decide, fuck it, I'm gonna leave it altogether, I mean, or, or I'm gonna, you know, remove the fear and approach this person, you will be finding out that there was nothing to fear from the start. From the beginning, there was no fear necessary. And you will overcome a part of you that has limited you. Like I said, maybe this person is somewhat uh, out of your league or someone you're not used to approaching someone that could intimidate you or they, they, they have that type where they intimidate you. If you overcome that fear, you will find out that there was nothing to be afraid of or be intimidated of, in, intimidated by. You will find out that they're just a normal person like everybody else. But they have this strong presence. That's it. They breathe and bleed like everybody else. They just have that strong presence. I don't know why I'm hearing Scorpio. It could be a Scorpio. I don't know why I'm hearing Scorpio. We have Pisces, by the way, Taurus, Libra, Taurus twice, Cancer. I don't see a Scorpio, but I heard Scorpio. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we have for you.
Aries. Here you come. The Emperor. Aries, you underestimate yourself. And it's funny that I say this to Aries. You know, usually Aries are very confident and very outspoken or outward energy. They have this outward energy. Other people could see them before they see themselves. I'm hearing fake it until you make it. Maybe that is something you live by. Something you say or... Yeah. You are aspiring to reach a level of... Maybe this is in regards to career, okay? You are aspiring to reach a level that you've never reached before. And you're kind of having the... Uh... What's it called? The something syndrome? Where you are afraid that you're not worthy of being there. I forget what it's called. Give me a second. Let me look it up. Um, what is it called when someone doesn't think? find it. But it's basically what I said. So I can't find the, the definition to it. Um, it's, it's kind of when you think that you are faking something or that you are embodying a certain energy that does not that is not really who you are. And maybe you're thinking, is it me? Or am I faking it? Am I not real? Am I true? So all these questions are coming on, on your mind. But you know what I see here? Which is basically like faking it until you make it, right? But Aries, what I see here is that you will be proven wrong that when you think that, oh, I'm not in the right place, or, oh, I'm not supposed to have that, I'm not really worthy of that, you will be proven the wrong, you will be proven wrong. That, in fact, you are deserving to be there, that you are meant to be there, that you uh, are supposed to be there. All, all the confirmation that you need will come to you soon. You have no idea how powerful you are. And you are yet to discover that. You are still going to discover that. I feel like you are at the beginning of something that is uh, at the beginning stages. Especially if this is in regards to career. I feel like you don't see yourself as well as uh, how others see you or how the universe sees you because it seems like you don't really believe in yourself 
maybe you maybe you say you do okay because you know that a lot of people are like they say these things but do they truly believe it and i don't think you truly believe that but you'll be soon proven wrong meaning that you will be having a lot of confirmations that tell you yes you're meant to be here exactly here you're meant for more you're meant to do great things so you will have confirmations and that will restore or remove the doubt or restore the faith in yourself again because let me tell you we are not born doubtful doubt happens with external energies circumstances we start to lose pieces of ourselves but whenever we reconnect with ourselves we find ourselves again we unleash a certain energy that is so powerful each and every one of us and you will be unlocking that soon all right let's see if there's anything else we're taking to the extended let's see You have someone here that is overwhelmed. With what they did. With what they did. So they did something that could have ruined things between the two of you. They have regret. They think that they shouldn't have done what they did. This person has regrets over something they did. And they received karma for it. Oof. Yeah. This person forced a karma upon themselves through something they did. Whether this is to you, to their connection to you. They're receiving karma for it. They they already received karma for it. And they are healing from the damage that it caused. We will take this person's energy to the extended. We'll see what this is about exactly. I do see that they did something. We'll look into what they did and how that relates to you. And what type of karma they received. And now that they're healing, why they're here. Extended link will be in the description box. I will see you there. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Also check out some of the latest readings you might have missed out on on here. We also have the latest t-shirt design on sale this week. The link to that is in the description box.